Hi guys, Mr. John here. In this video I'm gonna talk a little bit more about the voltage regulator for the scooter which I designed and talk about what will happen if you will reverse the alternator connection with the battery connection. It will pop. The battery at that state um, at that time was charged to about 13 volts and if you remember from the previous video it basically limited the voltage at about 14.4, 14.5, 14 half, let's say, all right? So 13 volts, it shouldn't be turned on. Well, yes and no. Ideally it shouldn't be turned on, but you have to understand that this scene right here is not really a proper comparator. Comparator should have a very sharp characteristic. It should slam from the off state to the on state without any state in between. It should have to only two stable states, high state and low state. This does not do that. It's a linear, linearish circuit, which is kind of like a comparator, but not really. It works good for this application, good enough you don't need a very precise regulation and you don't mind a little bit of linear action it works just fine but you have to understand that if this scene would have been replaced with a op-amp comparator the SCR wouldn't have blown when I, rever when I put the battery here instead of there because what happened when I put the battery here the current flowed through the diode, basimeter junction, through this 3.3k resistor, through a 12 volt zener, through an LED, which I replace the LED by with a diode there, because I used a little bit different zener and <laughs> yeah, needed less voltage. The current flowed through the basimeter junction, thus emitter current emitter collector current was also collector current was flowing turned on the SCR and it blew itself because it pretty much shorted the battery and here is that SCR it has a big nice crack in it poor bastard and I had to wait for parts to order new SCR I bought 10 of them so I will have 9 in spare, I like to do that. Now what I'm gonna do, the problem is that I looked up the pinout to this scene on the internet and there were two variants. If you're gonna look at it this way, this pin which is, uh, you can see, top left. Should, one schematic says it's battery positive, other says it's alternator. And the top right one is basically either alternator or a battery positive, depends on what schematic you're looking for. Both schematics say that the top right, uh, bottom right pin from your perspective is ground, and that's cool. That matches. But one schematic says that this is battery positive. And the other schematic says that this is battery positive. And uh, funny thing is that I made um, the circuit to be suited for one schematic, but then I connected. But then I, when I were to connect this scene up, I thought that I made it according to the other schematic and yeah, blew it. All I need to do really to fix that is to put the connector not like this, but like this, the other way around. The ground is the middle pin, which is gonna be in the same spot regardless if you flip it or not, but the outer two pins will swap, and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna install it not like this, or like I did originally, but like this, and it will be right where I need it to be 
and it will work. So let's do that. I install it like this, a screw goes in like that, then an insulating pad, then actually I will need to desolder this uh, SCR, then I'll put it on, then I'm gonna fix it with a nut, only then I'm gonna put the PCB on top of that, and I'm gonna fix that with another nut. Also taking care to put this is isolating bushing in place. Let me show you. Something like that. By the way, maybe you want, some of you will, were wondering why the commercial unit has anode on the chassis and why has cathode on the chassis. Well, I explained why I have ca it this way around to limit the same half cycle that charges the battery. But why they didn't do the same well, because the flange on this TO220 package is anode, so it's much easier to just bolt it directly to the heatsink without any insulation whatsoever. That's the only reason I can find why would they put anode to the chassis. It makes much more sense to put cathode to the chassis, but they put an anode to the chassis purely because they didn't want to spend extra money on the insulation. That's an only excuse I can find for them. I also went and squished a little bit of heatsink compound where the diode contacts the, ch the actual body to transfer the heat a little bit better at this diode. I replaced it with SR5100 which is a 5 amp shot key rectifier. And another nut on top to fix the board to the actual enclosure. And it's soldered in. All I need to do now is to make sure to install this the right way around. Something like this. By the way, if you're wondering why the board is shiny, it's in hot glue. I used to completely pot it with hot glue, so not only I blown the part, I had to they dig out all the hot glue, which is quite frustrating. But now it's not pretty because I designed the PCB to be uh, with this connector to be the other way around, but it will work. It's gonna be all potted in with hot glue, so it won't be able to rattle loose or anything like that ground is where it well, should be, battery positive is where it should be, and the alternator is where it should be. Now let's give it a test. Okay, it's connected up to the actual pins properly. Let's first plug it in and see if the light bulb glows. And it does, and it flickers, and it doesn't glow, so doesn't glow very much, which is good. It means that it's working. But to be totally sure, let's put a voltmeter on there and 14.2 volts, completely no load, only capacitors. That's why I put an ordinary diode instead of the LED, which you can see there. And the voltage, as you can see, is good. Nice. It works. Now I'm just gonna Turn on my hot glue gun, wait for it to warm up, pot it with hot glue again, or maybe I'm gonna just go and mix up some epoxy and just seal it shut. Yeah, I'm gonna think about that. Long story short, it works, now I'm gonna pay much more attention to hooking when I'm hooking it up to make sure it's I hook it up the right way around. So that's that. Thanks for watching. See ya.